Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have another envelope flip mini book. Um, this one I'm using my old kits. I pulled out all of my old kits that I put together to make mini albums about, I think this is like uh, four years ago. I think this paper line was 2012. It's Basic Gray's Junebug and I loved it with all these little things. It's so cute. Um, and this one I decided to do a half inch gusset on the back and I like how it fits better. And it's just a lot nicer. So, um, so yeah, this is all June bug paper. These are just flowers that I stuck together with it. And I love this little chipboard piece. And I can't remember, um, who made this little stamp, but it's, I thought it was kind of cute with this. And I like to put a lot of patterns together. And when I was making this, it reminded me. Um, when I was in junior high, um, our school had, once a year they had a fun day called Clash Day where you could wear goofy outfits and costume kind of stuff. So I did it, of course, and loved it. But anyways, um, some days I would come downstairs from getting dressed and my mom would say, Oh, honey, is it Clash Day today? And I'd kind of look down and go, No. Like, oh, well, what have you got on? And I'd have, like, plaid and stripes and flowers. Like all, you know, like a plaid skirt, flower shirt, or blouse, and then a striped scarf or whatever. And she'd say, oh, honey, you might want to kind of rearrange things. So I'd go back up and... Anyways, I, I dressed like this. <laughs> well, I tried to. She wouldn't let me out of the house like that. But anyways... So I really do like putting crazy patterns together. And that's why I love June bugs so much is because they were just, I mean, a lot of basic grades, man. They had the best paper. They're gone now, as are some of my other favorite um, companies like Cosmo Cricut, Sassafras Last, October Afternoon. All my favorites are like gone bye-bye. So, you know, I've got a lot of their paper and I don't want to hoard it, so I thought I'd use it. So anyways, here's this one, and I did this as an afterthought, because I just thought it might need a little more pattern. I'm half kidding. So I just glued it back here, otherwise it's kind of free to do what it wants. So that's the back cover, and then I reinforced all the gussets with more pattern paper. Alright, so this is from the collection. There, and I got some smudgy thing on there, so I might have to hide it with an enamel dot or something. But I thought this could be a nice little journey, journaling spot. And I had to kind of re do something up there for some reason. Oh, oh I know why. Yeah, okay. Because it was lower. I did it lower on this one than this one, so it looked off. So I put that up there and blah, blah, blah. So this one you can turn around and do it, but... I like how you kind of, sometimes mistakes can create more fun projects. Like I like this with all this, where this one seems kind of bland now. But anyways, so then I put a um, sticker. This is all like strip stickers from the collection. And then I made my own little just blank cards for mats or photo mat or whatever. Isn't this paper great? Oh, I love it. Love it. And I love that. So that's that spread. And then this spread, I got a little more busy. Um, and this, these dogs, this dog is from Stepping, Skipping Stones. And it's a great little set. I'll see if I can show it better. Her. I don't know if you can see it. But there's like a shaggy dog, this little dog with a cone, fire hydrant, a cute little paw, and a lab. And this says, long, no, long time no see for the shaggy dog. It's all fun and games until someone ends up in a cone. And does anybody else feel like a martini? Isn't that cute? 
It's a dog eat dog world and I'm wearing milk bone underwear. Norm from Cheers. Sit happens. A dog's philosophy on life. If you can't eat it or play with it, pee on it and walk away. And then I'm so sorry for your... Oh, I'm so sorry you lost your forever friend. Forever friend. So that's a great little set. I like that one. So I just made some little kind of banners or whatever you want to call them, you know, emblems, and added a ticket with that sentiment, and then added some stickers, and then made, I used, um, see now there's where my hoarding mentality came in, I didn't want to use up all my June bug paper, so I added in some other dog paper that I have, and I think this is from SEI, which is another company that's probably out of business, they had really cool stuff. And then just some old brads that I have that I've not used, so use those up. And then these are little um, tags from the latest Flow magazine. You get a whole boatload of them. I think there's about 40 of them. And, and then these again have like ticket style. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Oh, see, you'll never probably find that ever again. Now I'm talking myself into keeping this instead of selling it or giving it to somebody. Maybe I'll give it to Scrubby. That would be a trick. And I get to keep it. Um, and then this one is, I think it's just a basic or a, yeah, I don't even, why do I have a red dot? Yeah, I haven't done. I think it's a Studio G stamp. That one. I think that's Studio G. You can kind of tell by the quality. Oops. It's that kind of pinky. I don't know. And see, um, I unmount a lot of my wooden stamps, and then I just stamp on the back, kind of get an idea of where things are. But I unmounted all these from blocks, wood blocks. So that's that one, and this is another flippy do with another flippy do, almost a flippy do, but they could tuck stuff, hide it, cute. And then another strip, sticker strip. So that's that spread, and this one I like this one too. I like this one a lot. This is washi tape I got on Etsy. There's the cute little lab, and then. This is just a friend, a friendship stamp that I have. Now that's a little paw from the Skipping Stones. But I think this is, I want to say Lawn Fawn. I think that's from Lawn Fawn. Here's another from SEI and then some more stickers. Like it wasn't busy enough. And then this is the back. Page. And then I had some old Brad's go fetch. I love this. Huh. That is funny. And then just some tape and some stickers, a little journal spot. You can put some there. And the last ticket page or mat. I don't know why they get stuck like that. I'm not going in right. So there's that, and I love it. Look at this pretty paper. So that's called Junebug. If you can find it, you're lucky. I haven't even, I didn't even try actually to see if it's available still. That'd be great if it was. Ugh, gorgeous paper. All right, so, and they actually, I took a class, a card class at Archivers, and that, they've been gone for a few years now. They were based out of Minnesota here, and I don't know why they, they just didn't diversify with the business or the industry, but we did cards with this line, and it was really cute. So I had to buy it all. So, anyways, that's me babbling. And thanks for watching. Bye.